my name's Claire Baker, former Clutterholic, founder of ClutterClearing.net and this is my weekly vlog recording my own clutter clearing journey that I've been on for just over a year, uh, which is actually related to losing weight clutter. Uh, so far I've lost uh, six stone or 84 pounds uh, and I'm using this vlog as a way of helping myself uh, to stay motivated. It's great when I hear uh, and read comments that people have made uh, sort of um, acknowledging and encouraging me to keep going uh, and also I love hearing other people's challenges with either their physical clutter uh, or their weight clutter. Uh, so today is Tuesday and I weigh myself on a Tuesday. This week I lost one pound uh, which as I say to my clients <laughs> when they've done something on their to-do list or got something off uh, out of their home, one is always better than none. Um, naturally I'm, I'm frustrated because last week I lost six pounds um, but trying to look at the positive because I am annoyingly positive uh, if we add together last week's six pounds and this week's one pound, that means I've lost half a stone in two weeks. Not too shabby, I don't think. Um, so again, focusing on the positive uh, rather than just taking this one week uh, in isolation. And I know why it was only one pound. Um, this weekend, uh, or this weekend just gone, I was doing two market stalls uh, for my husband. He's launched a new part of his business uh, using his traditional sign writing skills. Uh, so hand painted door signs uh, and, and uh, wall art. So uh, on Saturday, I was in a very cold and drafty uh, town hall in a place called Chipping Norton, uh, which isn't far from Banbury in the Cotswolds. Um, and it was very, very cold. Now, that wasn't, that wasn't uh, a particular problem. I had plenty of layers on. Um, but when my husband turned up, my, my husband wasn't there because uh, he, he's got too much work. He had, he had to work. Um, when he came to pick me up, uh, now he loves donuts and he gets them from a store here uh, in the UK called Sainsbury's. He bought a packet of five uh, donuts and he plonked them down on the stall table. Now, clearly I'm quite capable of saying, no, thank you, that's sugar, that's carbohydrate. I'm not eating that because it's more important for me to, 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 to lose the weight uh, that I need to lose. Um, but, I, but I gave in. Um, and, uh, and I'm annoyed with myself for having done that because I wasn't hungry. <laughs> um, I, I know that he got a packet of five. He probably would have eaten all five himself <laughs> if I'd said no. But again, that good girl thing going on in my head, which is, is taking time. It's not impossible to overcome. Um, it's just a challenge of having to unlearn and we don't unlearn habits overnight, do we? Um, I, I ate them. And the funny thing was I didn't enjoy them. I ate two. I didn't enjoy them. I didn't feel satisfied. I didn't feel full. Afterwards, I was craving my cheese. <laughs> cheese does fill me up. Um, so yeah, so I did that. But just to make that even worse, before I ate the donuts, he took over from me on the stool and I, he, I went off just to find something to eat. And I couldn't find just like a snack piece of cheese. I know what I should have done. I should have taken a little snack box of the food I eat with me because then I wouldn't have had the problem. I, the preparation, uh, the planning wasn't there. Um, and, I, and I couldn't find anything I particularly wanted to eat. And it was the, what was it? The 3rd of December, I think it was. And I thought, I'll have a mince pie. So I went and got two mince pies, thinking my husband would have one. He didn't want one. I ate both of them. So I had two donuts and I had two mince pies. <laughs> that was Saturday. Um, uh, like I said, and the rest of the day I ate normally, but it was those two donuts, those two mince pies that I know was the was, was carbohydrate and sugar that, that won't have, have reacted well with my system. Then on Sunday, I did the Leamington Spa uh, market. Oh my goodness, how cold was that? I could barely feel my, my feet. And I had three, uh, I had one pair of tights and two pairs of socks 
and a pair of walking boots on my feet. I thought I was going to be warm. Um, very, very cold. Um, again, he dropped me off, left me for the day, uh, and then came back later on. And again, he bought Sainsbury's uh, donuts. And again, I ate two of them. <laughs> Learning, feedback. Um, so next weekend, um, I'm do we're doing, he's coming with me, we're doing a Bista uh, Christmas market, which will be outside in the cold. And uh, we're doing Leamington Spa Market again on Sunday. So my learning is going to be, right, I've got my feedback. I know that if I do eat donuts, mince pies, I'm going to have less weight loss. So I will do a snack box to take with me to those two markets next weekend. Uh, so hopefully next weekend I will see a greater weight loss. But like I say, one is better than none. Even if I'd stayed the same, that would have been okay. And to be honest, even if I put on a pound or two, I would know why. It was donuts and mince pies. <laughs> it's not rocket science. Um, so yeah, so uh, again, putting it in perspective, that's half a stone over two weeks. Um, uh, that was, oh, and, and I just remembered, I had a, two glasses of mulled wine uh, on, on Saturday when I got home. We've got some left over from last year. Again, from Sainsbury's, very nice. Um, but uh, I was just trying to warm up. It took me about an hour to warm up once I got in. And now that was, was that Saturday or Sunday? I can't remember which day. Uh, but, but it was, um, oh, it must have been Saturday because I sat down and watched Strictly Come Dancing. Um, and I still wasn't warm by the end of that. That's how I remember. So, you know, it was, uh, again, I can make excuses. I didn't need the mulled wine. I had a roaring fire go. That was going to, to, to warm me up. Um, I didn't need uh, the mince pies. I didn't need the donuts. Um, so, uh, again, I just got to overcome this whole good girl. Don't want to upset people by not eating what they kindly offered me very parallel I think when we have clutter in our home we don't like to to, to get rid of uh, gifts that people have given us but it's not getting rid of it's letting go <laughs> uh, for me with the, with the food it's it's a case of what is more important to me eating that food and and thinking I'm pleasing that person by eating what they're offering me or kindly bought me or losing the weight um, so I just need to kind of keep that in check uh, there are some things that I've noted down over the week, actually, that I've that I've that I've become aware of uh, sort of uh, as a result of the weight loss that I've had. So I've got here, um, had a bath uh, during the week, um, only one. I do normally shower every day. So it's all right. It's, it's <laughs> but in the bath, I've noticed there is more room either side of me. It sounds like a tiny thing, but when you are bigger, it feels like you're wedged in the bath. Um, but now when I'm in the bath, I, f I can literally m move, <laughs> move uh, my hips if I want to. I know this is such random stuff, but uh, it's noticeable. It's, it's, it's that feedback. It's that reminder that, that, that Claire, you've lost weight. Um, my bath towel. I used to have to have the huge, huge bath towels uh, in order to wrap myself in to, to dry myself. Now I can actually nearly use one of the, the small bath towels that we have. And that that is a good feeling. I don't feel swathed uh, in bath towel as much. I used to tell myself, oh, well, it's cosy. Um, but actually, you know what? It's nice to feel slimmer when when you're, you, you're able to use a smaller bath towel uh, for your body. Um, yeah, I went into uh, M&S, uh, which is a department store here in the UK. Um, and what was that? That was Tuesday uh, when I popped into, last Tuesday, when I popped into town to uh, send off the weekly packages uh, of, of products that people have bought for clutter clearing. Um, and I wandered into Marks and Spencer's, just want to have a look. And uh, I, I did go into their food area and I didn't want their crisps. And a year ago, I used to love Marks and Spencer's uh, sour cream and chive crisps. Oh, they're lovely. Uh, but... I didn't want them. I walked on by. So I, that felt like a significant moment. Um, walking uphill last week. When I was walking up, when I go to my weekly counselling with my weight counsellor uh, every week, I have to walk uphill. It's downhill, obviously, on the way back. And um, I noticed that I wasn't getting out of breath. I barely noticed it. 
a year ago when I was going, I would feel out of breath and I would kind of have to stop at one point uh, in order to get up that hill uh, to go to counselling. So again, that is significant. May not be a huge in size, but it's significant. Um, I'm feeling the cold more. I don't know if that's because it's been colder than usual. I don't know if that's just me being aware of it. Um, there's a part of, I'm, I'm not a, a doctor by any means, I don't know the, the physiology of it, uh, but there's a part of me that says, well, if I'm carrying less fat, I've got less insulation. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Um, if, if you are a doctor, if you know about these things, do let me know, I'd be fascinated to know. But I do sense that I am feeling the cold a lot more than I ever used to. Um, and uh, oh yeah, then there was a, a, a lady opposite me at, uh, at one of the markets uh, last weekend who was on a stool um, and she was a larger lady and it, it, it got me thinking that she, I think, and again, we all have um, uh, different perspectives of, of how we think we look, but I think she was the sort of size that I was when I started. Um, and I've become much, and, 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 and in a way, looking at her um, and, and, and recognising that she kind of represented what I used to be like, helps me realise how far I have come. Now, she may be perfectly happy uh, with the size that she is. That's, and as I said last week, that's absolutely fine. There, uh, there are people who, who, uh, who say they're happy with their weight. They don't have a problem. And again, I'm not suggesting that this lady, uh, you know, should, should start losing weight. But, but she, like I say, I think she represented the size that I used to be. Um, and, and, and it is a useful feedback for me to go, actually, I'm, I'm no longer that size. Uh, I am smaller. Uh, um, and uh, because we don't necessarily notice, just like my husband, uh, he didn't notice uh, my weight loss until other people started commenting. Uh, and he saw me wearing clothes that I haven't worn for years. This dress, for example, uh, I bought this in 2009 and I haven't been able to wear it since 2010. Love this dress, really comfortable, fits nicely. Um, so when he's seen clothes going out to the charity shop and when he's seen uh, new clothes coming in or old clothes being worn again, he has noticed. But when you live with it day to day, you don't notice the changes uh, as much. So again, this lady at the market, you know, was, was useful feedback. She didn't know it. <laughs> I didn't go up to her and say, oh, you're the size I think I used to be. Uh, and I've lost six stone. Uh, of course, I wasn't going to do that. That's, uh, but, but in my mind, I was just sort of um, enjoying the comparison, I suppose. Um, so yes, uh, there's been quite, so there's been quite a, a, a few uh, light bulb moments uh, happening. Uh, in terms of that. So in terms of my success factors, uh, the first one we know is understanding and support. So again, those under the understanding that I've got, like the donuts and the, and the, the mince pies and the mulled wine. Crikey, it's a miracle that I lost a pound, really, <laughs> given that I downed all that the weekend. Um, so that feedback uh, is really valuable with the, with the understanding. The method hasn't changed. Uh, obviously went a bit off track at the weekend with carbs and the sugar on the donuts and the mince pies and the mulled wine. Uh, doing the doing, I'm still going to the gym. That hasn't changed, which as we know is, is, is in order to, to stop the flabby bits. Uh, and I'm still making the time uh, to plan my meals. And in fact, uh, today I'll be planning meals uh, for the Christmas period. And so I'm still doing the doing. I'm still doing what needs to be done. I'm taking the feedback. I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, letting myself be disheartened. It is still moving. I am also aware, probably worth me acknowledging to myself, I am uh, two and a half pounds away from the lowest weight I got to in 2009. Christmas 2009. How bizarre would that be if I got down to that weight next week? That would be really bizarre because that would be what five years, five, six years, six years to the, more or less to the day or to the week that I am the same weight. So it would have taken me six, six years to lose six and a half stone. Hmm, interesting. Um, so yes, yeah, so psychologically, there's that bit of when I can get down uh, um, those two and a half pounds. 
I will have matched where I was on Weight Watchers last time. So again, I'll be almost going into uh, unknown territory. Um, I'll be going into a weight that I haven't been since 2001. Wow. So yeah, this is a journey <laughs> for sure. Uh, it's an exciting journey, scary journey, but again, as long as I'm learning along the way, this is exactly the same with people with their physical clutter in their home. Uh, the people that I, I coach privately every week, um, we look at the, the learnings, the successes, the challenges from the previous week, and we go, what can we learn from that? What do we need to do slightly differently to get a better, uh, quicker result? Um, and it's only when we learn and get that feedback. Uh, I've always said the people who learn the quickest are the people who make the mistakes. Uh, but of course, there is no such a thing as a mistake. There's only ever feedback. If we keep doing the same thing, expecting different results, that's when we're not learning. Um, but as long as you're learning on your clutter clearing journey, that's that's the important thing. Good. <sighs> Let me know how you're getting on, whether it's your physical clutter clearing journey in your home or whether you too are on a weight loss journey like I am. Do let me know in the comment box below uh, because you know I know, uh, you know I like to know that I am not alone. Uh, I'm not going to, to warble on any longer. I'm going to love you and leave you. Uh, I will obviously record another video next week. Uh, I shall, uh, uh, my learning from this week, I'm going to do a snack box to take with me to the two the two markets uh, that I'm doing with my husband this weekend so that I'm not tempted with uh, donuts and mince pies or other things that he wafts in front of my face I didn't even want them this is a stupid thing I wasn't going oh really fancy donut yeah I'm gonna eat them habit habit breaking an old habit I am 43 it takes time <laughs> okay so uh, have a good week let me know how you're getting on and I shall see you very soon take care